Hi, I'm Jason Summers, a teaching artist from the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. Let's make some art together. This week's art activity is inspired by the artist Jim Drain and his work titled Peaceable Kingdom. You will have the opportunity to create a colorful, whimsical, and playful abstract landscape scene and design your own movable figures while learning art concepts like line, shape, color, and pattern. I really like Jim Drain's lively use of color and pattern and his process of playful experimentation, like the lines flowing between the images of animals and hands reached out as if a child is chasing the butterfly or catching bubbles. Take a moment and think about all the little spaces around your house where you like to play and pretend. Whether it's your bedroom, your garden, or backyard, art is everywhere. Go ahead and look around where you live for those lines, shapes, and patterns. You may find some inspiration for your art project. These are the materials that I collected for this activity. Tape, markers, colored pencils, watercolors, oil pastels, printer paper, and more. But you can use whatever you like to work with, or you have it at your home. You can begin by drawing outlines of subjects or characters that you want in your composition. I liked the hands that are in the artwork, so I'll start here by tracing my hand. The characters can be anything you decide. There's no wrong way to do this. What animals do you like? What's your favorite toy in your room? Favorite flower? Sketch out a few characters and don't worry about making a perfect flower or animal. This is playful experimentation, so anything you create is okay. I chose to look at some of my son's toy giraffes to study while creating my own fanciful characters. Perhaps you have some figures of your own. You can also look up images in books or online. Go outside and search for bugs, look at flowers, or other interesting things. Continue to fill in your characters with whatever lines, shapes, and patterns that pleases you. Experiment with the art tools that you've collected by adding layers, like watercolor over crayon, pencil lines over watercolor, and so much more. This next step is something a little more than what we saw in Jim Drain's Peaceable Kingdom, but it is still inspired by things that he loved to do, like working together with friends to make creative videos, comics, costumes, and kinetic sculptures. You can add that element of play or performance to your project because you can move them around, like a page in a pop-up book or a puppet show. I added a stick to the back of my draft to make a handle, and then I cut a paper towel roll to the back of the hand so they can lift it up, giving it a three-dimensional look. See the shadow? Now it is time to create the background. I taped a couple of pieces of regular paper for my printer that I chose to use for my background. Again, you can use whatever materials you have available to you. Maybe a paper shopping bag, a page out of a sketchbook or journal, or a piece of sheet fabric. Just like how you made your characters, you can draw, paint, scribble and scratch any kind of lines, shapes, and patterns all over the background. I was inspired by the wavy lines and organic shapes of plants in my garden. But really, you don't have to think too hard for this, and just go for it. Repeat lines to make patterns, change the size of circles to make it look like those bubbles flying around, 
Add things that look like they're falling off the page. Anything you want. Have fun. Here's the last part. Add your characters to the background and arrange your composition. Then rearrange again. And again. Play and pretend with the figures, trying them out many different ways. You can take pictures of the different positions and configurations, kind of like creating different pages in a storybook. Maybe you'd like to practice for a performance or play. Record a video of it, adding sound and words and then send it to family and friends for their enjoyment. And of course, you can still choose to glue or tape the figures to the background and then display your beautiful work of art.